This video is produced by Brackenbury Cleveland Bays, where we breed this rare horse. The Cleveland Bay is critically endangered on top of the Rare Breed Survival Trust watch list. Less than 50 foals are born worldwide each year, making every foal very important, particularly fillies, to keep the breed viable. Cleveland Bays are the only British native warm blood horse, with a history going back many centuries. Originating in the Cleveland area of Yorkshire, their first use was as pack horses. Bred to carry 16 stone packs, they became known as the Chapman Horse. As roads improved in Elizabethan times, they became renowned carriage horses, famed for their stamina, pace and power. They were also used as light farm horses and dray horses. With the coming of the internal combustion engine, their importance to the economy declined and their uses as artillery and transport horses in the Great War meant thousands were lost, setting the breed into decline. They are now largely used as general riding horses and carriage horses, often seen pulling royal carriages. The first few days of our foals' lives are spent learning about their environment and herd mates, during which time their mothers are very protective, keeping the foals close and other horses away until the foal is able to move with confidence and pace. Come on then. Come on. Oh. Winnie. Yes, you yell and go. Go on then. The foals learn to use and control their legs and to play with each other and form bonds with siblings. This is always a delight to watch and is a lovely way to spend a summer evening watching them play and explore their new world. After a few days we start to train the foals in the basic skills needed for their future. We start off with halter training and walking with their mothers. We take care during the training to keep the foal and dam relaxed and stress free so the foal learns to trust people and respond positively to being asked to do tasks such as being groomed, washed and having their feet handled which makes them more confident in stressful situations such as being shod later in life. Here we see a colt foal playing with his father, our original stallion Southbrook Warlord. Warlord is exhibiting one of the great assets of the breed, their temperament. Cleveland Bays are renowned for their relaxed, easy-going natures, which makes them easy to work with and to train. The stallions have always been in demand to cross onto thoroughbred mares to produce progeny that combine the strength, stamina and temperament of the Cleveland with the speed of the thoroughbred. Traditionally, this cross made superb hunters and sport horses. Pure Clevelands make good all-round riding horses, a jack of all trades. From dressage through to endurance, they can turn a hoof to all disciplines. As the foals mature, we introduce them to a wider range of experiences. They are walked out both with siblings and, importantly, alone to learn about the outside world. 
We get to meet traffic in our local village, other horses, dogs and people. We encourage them to take all new experiences in their stride by being calm and talking them through new encounters. They are taught to load as foals with their mums, but as yearlings they are given more loading practice and small trips out in lorries and trailers to accustom them to what will happen when we start to take them to shows. is six months old. Sky, like Nora Bell, is a broodmare. She's produced four foals, but as you can see, she's also ridden when she's not breeding her foals and looking after them in their early months. And this pair have been shown at local shows this year, doing well winning classes and championships at Fife, Kinross, June and Dumblane, and also the Scottish Brass Signals Show, where Rags is reserved show champion. And they're based at the Bracken Brace site, which is very close to her. And I have to say that John Bennett of the Bracken Brace site, um, and owner of Twinnock Sky Sale, John put together this parade. He has worked extremely hard organising it, and we're very grateful to him and to the participants. Because everybody had to be here early, they've had to do a lot of preparation. And I think once more around the arena so we can take the tickle out of some toes and then. And then we'll say thank you very much and everybody can come and talk to you. We show our young horses from foals to three-year-olds at local agricultural shows and some larger ones, such as the Royal Highland and the Great Yorkshire Show. We particularly enjoy the Yorkshire as it is in the home of the Cleveland Bay and is the only opportunity we get to compete in pure Cleveland Bay classes. In most other shows, we compete in the hunter classes. We see these shows as part of the education of the young horses. They learn to cope with the hustle and bustle of shows, with crowds, noise and all that can happen in show rings, from pipe bands to escaped horses. After they have done a couple of shows, they become relaxed in most situations. Of course, being of a competitive nature, the show team like to win, and it is always a boost to have the horses recognised as being good quality and well produced. Not to mention it helps when we come to sell them. It's not all about youngsters. Here is our mayor Sky Sale enjoying a previous small holders festival. As well as taking the youngsters to shows, we continue to work with them at home, preparing them for their future lives as ridden horses. This involves long lining them to get them used to new commands and aids. We start this in our fields and progress to going out and about on local paths and quiet roads. Another technique we use is ponying, leading the young horse from another experienced horse. We also get them used to walking out with various items of tack, such as bridles, bits, saddle cloths, girths and eventually a light saddle. Cleveland Bays make good riding horses. They are generally calm and thoughtful and renowned for being a safe ride, not being prone to spookiness. They are easy to train due to being from a breed that has been bred to work for centuries. They love having a job to do.
In the past, Cleveland bays performed many tasks on farms, working as a light agricultural horse during the week, the farmer's hunter on a Saturday, and to drive the family to church on a Sunday, a true all-rounder. Here is a purebred Cleveland Bay gelding competing at Blair Castle International Horse Trials in the final of the Heavy Hunter class. He is Stainmore Rubin, owned by Lindsay Minnis, sired by our stallion warlord. Due to their calm nature, Cleveland Bays make the ideal family horse that even the youngest can get involved with. Finally, some photographs taken by a professional photographer, Cecilia Sohorka, known as the Pixel Nomad, who visited us to add Cleveland Bays to a book of world horses she is working on. <laughs> 